So, maligayang pagbabalik mga kaibigan. Ang atin ngang pag-aaralan ngayong araw ay solving the percentiles, quartiles, and deciles for ungrouped data. Kasi iba pa yung uh, solution for the group data. And shout out nga pala kay Rika Linesquera dahil uh, siya yung nag-request ng uh, lesson natin ngayong araw. Maraming salamat kaibigan sa iyong uh, patuloy na pagtangkilik sa ating mga uh, videos. Ay na nga, so bago tayo mag-solve ng uh, or bago tayo mag-solve ng problems involving the tree, uh, i-define muna natin kung ano ba yung tatlo. Ay, as well as the formulas used. <clears throat> so yung muna nga natin ay percentile. Percentile. Ano ba yung percentile? Percentile is uh, groupings of a distribution by 100. Kung baga, it divides the distribution by 100. Kung baga, hinahati niya yung distribution sa 100. And the formula for uh, finding the percentile is P sub K equals K over 100 multiplied by N. Where P is the percentile K kung pang ilan yung percentile na hinahanap. Then, N is the total number of the samples. Divided by 100 kasi nga percentile siya. Pangalawa naman is quartile. Quartiles. It divides the distribution by 4. Kasi nga quart quartiles eh. So sa apat. Then ang ating formula ngayon dyan is Q sub K equals K all over 4 multiplied by N. So Q sub K, K ulit yung kung pang ilan na hinahanap. Tapos yung N ay the total number of samples and divided by 4 kasi nga quartiles number 3 is decile so ito naman it divides the distribution by 10 therefore our formula will be d sub k equals k all over 10 multiplied by n so yung k kung pang ilan yung n naman yung total number of samples so ito na nga yung mga formulas na gagamitin natin This is for ungroup, ungroup data, ungroup data. So iba pa yung sa group data, okay? So yun yung mga formulas na gagamit natin. Let's say for example, number one, we have the following given, given the following scores. So, halimbawa, meron tayong 9. Uh, And 15. So, let's say for example, we have this following scores. Then, you are required to solve for the following. Find, uh, let's say, piece of 13. And then Q sub 2. And then 8. Alright. So you're required to solve for the 13th percentile, 2nd quartile, and for the 8th decile. So dito ko na lang inalagay yung ating solution. So letter A. Pinapahanap yung ating 13th percentile. So using our formula. That is k over 100 multiplied by n. Yung k natin ay 13 divided by 100 multiplied by n. Yung n total number of samples. Ito yung samples. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 2 8. That is 18. So, using our calculator, 13 over 100 multiplied by 18. So, that is 2.34. Since that is a decimal or non-integer, let us round up. Round up ha, hindi lang round off. Kasi pag nag-round off lang, ira-round down yan. So, round up, pataas. So, yung pangatlo. 
Ibig sabihin pala, yung 13th percentile ay yung pangatlo dito. Pangatlo dun sa ating uh, scores. Pero, bago natin kuhanin yung pangatlo, di ba? 1, 2, 3. Ito dapat yung kukuhanin natin. Kailangan, arrange muna natin to from lowest to highest. O ascending. Tapos, yung pangatlo dun, that is the 13th percentile. Nagkakaintindihan. So, saan ko ilalagay yun? Dito na lang siguro sa baba. So, ano pinakamababa dyan? 6. So, 6. Ito na. Ito na yung ascending order from lowest to highest. So, ang ating uh, 13th percentile ay yung third data. Yung pangatlo. Third. Therefore, yung ating P sub 13 is yung pangatlo. 1, 2, 3, 10. That is our 13th percentile. And then letter B is the second quartile equals 2 all over 4 multiplied by 18. And that is 1 half multiplied by 18, 9. So 9, pang 9 dito yung ating second quartile. Ang ating second quartile ngayon is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13. And lastly, our 8th decile. That is uh, 8 divided by 10 multiplied by 18. Bakit 10? Kasi decile yan. Yun nasa, nasa ating formula. Bakit 4? Kasi a quartile. Bakit 100? Kasi nga percentile. Equals, so 8 divided by 10 multiplied by 18. That is 14.8. Four. And then round up, we have pang 15th, 15th data. Ang ating 15th data is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, 18. And these are the answers. And that is how we solve for the percentile, quartiles, and deciles for ungrouped data. Yun, maraming salamat sa panonood mga kaibigan. Uh, wag niyong kalimutang ilike ang ating channel. Toot! At ganyan din, syempre mag-subscribe na rin kayo. Toot! At wag niyo rin kalimutan na pindutin yung ating bell upang makareceive ng mga notification sa mga susunod nating videos. Toot! Maraming salamat! So, ayun na nga mga kaibigan. Ano? Uh, ngayon, uh, kung kayo ay meron pang mga karagdagang katanungan or meron kayong gustong uh, malaman pa na medyo naguguluhan kayo sa loob ng uh, klase o saan pa man, uh, maaari kayong mag-send or mag-message ng mga katanungan ninyo sa mga accounts na ito. Sa aking Gmail account is engineerulysis at gmail.com at sa aking Facebook account naman, ito yung aking official account is Yuli Cruz Cruz. So mag-message lamang kayo dyan ang inyong katanungan at susubukan natin yan ay sagutin upang tayo ay makatulong hindi lamang sa inyo at pati na rin sa iba. Yun lamang, maraming salamat at pagpalain kayo ng Panginoon. Maraming salamat. Oh, 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 oh,